Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Jennifer and we will be continuing with the Christmas birds stocking. And I know it's been a while since I've posted a stocking video. Um, if you've been following my channel, I've been uh, super busy with building our house. <laughs> so trying to find time to do these um, videos has been challenging. So I'm just showing you how to do the tail of the bird right now. And if you missed the first tutorial on this video, I will link it somewhere in the description box below. Um, so you uh, can check that out. So, um, anyway, so yeah, I've been so busy with uh, the house and um, trying to pack all of my stuff in our current place. Um, but I'll update you about that in another video. So right now I'm just working on this red bird and um, it's just a little hard to maneuver because these pieces are so tiny, you know. But there is a tail finished and we're going to work on the little beak here, which I ended up um, applicating the little tiny piece first and then adding the stitch because the piece was so freaking tiny. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to tear this beak apart if I, you know, put this put this in here so I decided to attach it first and um, that's that just way easier for me so I'm just working on the beak and then um, we're gonna work on the rest of the body here I believe there are three birds total so there's there's the first one and there's the face and that's what it's going to look like when it's attached. So the that's stuffed. So um, I added the black piece. For some reason, the black piece just was so difficult to put on. Um, I ended up like adding the beads and sequins only and, and not even applying it on there because uh, of how like intricate the piece was. So we're going to put these little feathers on. They kind of stack like so. So I'm just going to cut them one piece at a time and stack them on top of each other. And that's how the, the wing is formed. And now I'm going to add these beads underneath, not beads, I'm going to add these berries <laughs> underneath the bird. So the bird's feet are kind of hiding behind the berries. And there's a patch of snow and the feet of the next bird. And um, for this uh, for this bird, it's very similar, um, but just a different color. <clears throat> so same rules apply. So this next bird, um, it's going to kind of be poking out of the stocking. So the instructions call for a, a, a backing of some kind. So we're going to use the cardboard, or it's poster board. We're going to use the poster board that came with the kit. Each kit comes with a sheet of poster board. And we're just going to trace the bird's tail and we're going to insert it inside the tail. And I'm pretty sure I don't stuff this. It's just an insert. So I'm just tracing it and then I'm going to cut it a little bit smaller just so that it fits between the two pieces of felt. And that's going to hold up the bird tail sticking out of the stocking. And I'll show you what I mean. So I cut that out, and I'm actually going to trim it first. I trimmed it just enough to where I can actually get my needle around and sew the backing on. Okay, so there's the bird, and that's the tail, and I'm just showing you how I do it. So I ended up appliquing um, the, the top and the side just to kind of give myself... Um, kind of like a little sleeve to put this in and then that way I can finish going around it and luckily felt is um it's pretty manageable so you can kind of stretch it and, and maneuver it how you need to and if you need to trim it trim it I've actually I think I trimmed this tiny little part a couple of times before I was able to put it in um, without having the poster board stick out of the bird tail so so I'm just going and closing up the bird tail, and then we'll finish this third bird. I'm not quite sure what what kind of birds these are. 
if you know the kind of birds or if you're a bird expert, <laughs> leave me, uh, let me know in the comments uh, what kind of birds these are. I am not a bird expert. I just thought they were super cute, <laughs> which I'm sure most of you think that way. So you see how the bird tail is sticking out? If it was just stuffed, it would just like, you know, um, so that helps it stick out a little bit, which is super cute. It makes the bird look like it's, it just landed like on the top of the bird, bird, bird house. So, um, I believe these little stockings, um, uh, the birds are carrying these little stockings, which I thought was so cute. Um, can you imagine if real birds did that? Also, these little tiny stockings are a little bit harder to put together because they're so little. As you notice, my pinky <laughs> barely fits in here, so they're pretty small. And um, I did stuff the bottom, and there are little presents that go inside. And uh, I'm just trying to position them the best I can. And I do use the front of the stocking as a reference. So there's a little tiny presents for the little tiny birds, little tiny stocking. <laughs> So I'm just going to sew those in so they don't move around. Look how cute that is. So I just did like a little tack down stitch right there. And I did a little tack down stitch um, at the heel of the stocking so it doesn't like move around as much. So it kind of looks like it's floating in the air a little bit. So because um, the bird looks like it just landed on the little house and... I wanted to have that extra movement um, and also you know using the front picture as a reference too so I'm just adding tack down stitches um, as needed and I'm getting caught on every single <laughs> sequin while doing this so make sure you to be careful so once you have all the tacked on stitches that you need, um, just double knot in the back to tie it off. So once we are done putting this stocking down, we will be done with the front of this stocking. See how easy this stocking was? I was actually pleasantly surprised on how quickly I was able to make this stocking. And um, it's just so pretty. Anybody who's a fan of birdhouses or has birds or just loves birds, this is a perfect gift for them. So this particular stocking, I am not adding a name because I will be adding a name later. So that's always an option. Um, I always line my stockings. So if you do also line your stockings, um, I would add the name before you line it all the way. So I'm just going to show you how I add lining to my stocking and I'm going to cut the backing out first and I'm going to use the backing as a template and right now I am um, putting the tab where I want it because I'm going to secure this end first so it's a nice clean look. So I'm just going to add the tab first and um, normally I would use the same color thread that matches the front, but um, I can get away with blue thread. So that's what I'm using. Um, because the cuff, like the front cuff where the name goes is white, you can use white, um, but because um, there's two layers up here, I can actually tuck tuck this blue thread in with the blue felt in the front and nobody will know because <laughs> it'll blend in super nicely so that's what I'm doing here otherwise I'd use white thread because it would go you, you'll see it in the front right but I'm actually able to hide it really well in the blue felt so whatever you choose this is just how I ended up doing it It takes a little finesse. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you want to see more and that you like my content. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button to support my channel. It takes hours to make these stockings. 
for you guys to show you how to do it. So I, I appreciate all the support. And um, I also have an Etsy shop. Um, it's definitely not as busy as it was because, you know, I am busy. So my Etsy shop is still running. Um, it took down a lot of listings and um, I, I've taken away some other things that I was doing just because I just don't have time right now. So, so yeah, check that out. It's in the description box below. And um, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'm happy to answer those. I've got tons of tutorials, so check out my channel if you have any questions. I do have a, a bunch of stuff there, so before you ask a bunch of questions, make sure you go through my channel and, and search first, because I might have already answered your question and you don't even know it yet. <laughs> okay, so we got this tab partially done. We're going to add the lining on top of it, and you'll see how clean the look is. So the lining is rather simple. I buy extra felt. So this does not, this lining, the, the white felt is not in the kit. So I buy that separate and I use the back to make a template for the lining. And um, I like to make the lining a little bit smaller than the actual stocking. So I just, I just use the lining, I just use the back as like a template and then um, I trim it as needed. went ahead and um, trimmed the edges and I'm gonna leave the top um, open for now so I'm just gonna show you where I start I'll start just underneath the cuff and I'm gonna leave the top open so that I can go back and add a name later if I need to so uh, most of these stockings that I do make um, I make for my Etsy shop there are several that I haven't put on my shop just because they are either custom orders or they're made for a family member. So I, I'd say about 80% of my tutorials have been for um, either family members or for my Etsy shop. And then the others are um, people that have personally come to me with their own kits and I, I make them for them. So, All right, so I'm going to continue this off camera and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what we have so far, and I usually go to the top and um, I uh, sew the tab in first as I go around, and then I stop at that edge up there. So that's normally what I would do, but for now I'm just going to leave this the way it is, and then I'm going to add the backing the exact same way, and um, and then I'll leave it leave it like that. So whoever decides to purchase this, it probably it's already purchased <laughs> at this point. Um, You'd have to check out my shop. I'm not quite sure. So that's exactly what I did for the backing. Um, I don't trim the backing. Um, I used to, and I realized that I needed a little more give because you want to be able to have room to put stuff in these stockings. And uh, they will last a long time. And they're beautiful. And I highly suggest if you've never made one, do one because it's they're they're just so great. All right, so thank you for my... Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!